Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of the testis from a case of a mixed germ cell tumour with two components, an embryonal carcinoma component here, which I will focus on, and a seminoma component. There is a separate video describing microscopic features of seminoma in this YouTube channel, as well as in our free online pathology resource, PathWeb, and the registration link is in the video description. Here is the tunica albuginea of the testis, and this is part of the tunica vaginalis. And this is the region of the testicular parenchyma, which is completely replaced by germ cell tumor. In this more solid area, we have the seminomatous component. And in this area, which is a little bit more pink or eosinophilic due to necrosis, this is the area of embryonal carcinoma. I'm going to briefly recap the features of seminoma, but the main focus of this video will be on embryonal carcinoma. In seminomas, we have islands or sheets of relatively uniform polygonal cells with central round nuclei, sometimes prominent nucleoli, and the cells have abundant very clear appearing or vacuolated cytoplasm, these cells contain abundant glycogen. Also, at mixed with the malignant cells, we also have these small round nuclei, and these are lymphocytes. And lymphocytes are very frequently seen at mixed with the tumor cells in seminoma. Looking at low magnification, we can draw a rough line of demarcation between the seminomatous area and the embryonal carcinoma area. And here is the rough line of demarcation. Let's take a closer look at the embryonal carcinoma area. Usually, there is quite a mixed architectural pattern. We often have tubule formations or gland formations that quite closely resembles adenocarcinoma. We can also have some papillary areas with fibrovascular cores, as well as more solid sheet-like areas. So often, we have admixed components of solid areas, glandular areas and papillary areas, as we can see here. And the cells themselves are pleomorphic. The nuclei are large, the cells are polygonal, and the nuclei often contain very prominent nucleoli, as we can see. And mitotic figures are very frequent. We can see one here and we can see another one here. In addition, there is also very frequently necrosis. This is an area of necrosis. And here are the viable or live tumor cells. We can see a very large area of necrosis here. And this is coagulative necrosis, where we only see the pink outlines of cells with no nuclei. Let's look at the interface between the seminoma and the embryonal carcinoma. And we can see that the tumor cells do look somewhat different. On the left, we have the sheets of quite uniform seminoma cells, where the cells have very pale cytoplasm. And on the right here, we have the region of the embryonal carcinoma, where the cells appear to be more pleomorphic, the nuclei larger, and the nucleoli more prominent. Another good way to delineate the different areas of different germ cell tumors is by immunohistochemistry. And one of the markers that is positive in embryonal carcinoma but negative in seminoma is CD30. And here is a section on which the immunohistochemical marker CD30 is applied. And we can see here that this whole area is brownish, meaning that the stain is positive. And this is the area that corresponds to the embryonal carcinoma, whereas this entire area of seminoma is negative. Taking a closer look, we can see a very sharp demarcation between the more pleomorphic positive staining cells of the embryonal carcinoma.
and the more monotonous negative staining cells of the seminoma. Let's learn a bit more about embryonal carcinoma of the testis. Embryonal carcinoma is a malignant germ cell tumour of the testis, which usually occurs as part of a mixed germ cell tumour. Occasionally, embryonal carcinoma can be pure, but more frequently it occurs together with other germ cell tumours, for example, seminoma, yolk sac tumour, teratoma or choriocarcinoma. Clinically, the patients usually present with a unilateral painless testicular mass. Sometimes there may be some discomfort or a dull aching sensation in the scrotal or pelvic region. And also, sometimes these patients may present with metastatic disease, for example, hemoptysis if there are lung mets, or back pain if there are bone mets. Grossly, the testis is enlarged and usually there will be a grey to tan mass. This often appears quite variegated with pale areas of necrosis. You can see some pale necrosis here and also with dark areas of hemorrhage. In a mixed germ cell tumour, there may be a more heterogeneous appearance. For example, this is a case of mixed seminoma and embryonal carcinoma, so this more variegated looking area is the area of the embryonal carcinoma and this more solid pale fleshy area is the area of the seminoma. There is a separate video describing the gross pathological features and demonstrating the virtual pathology specimen of embryonal carcinoma and this can be found in PathWeb, our free online pathology resource. The registration link is in the video description and it is completely free. Here is another example of embryonal carcinoma, and this is the uninvolved testicular parenchyma. This is the region of the tumour, which is a whitish, fleshy mass with these dark areas of hemorrhage. And here we have the epididymis. Microscopically, as we saw, there are several growth patterns. There are solid sheet-like areas, there are glandular areas, and also papillary areas and lots of areas of necrosis, as you can see here and here. The cells are very pleomorphic. They are large. The nuclei contain prominent nucleoli, and there are frequent mitotic figures. We can see two mitotic figures here. Also, very often, we will see areas of necrosis, as you can see here. Lymphovascular invasion is commonly present in this tumour, and also any adjacent seminiferous tubules in the testis may sometimes show germ cell neoplasia in situ. As mentioned, there may be other admixed germ cell tumour components, for example, seminoma, and you can see here that on the left, this is the area of the seminoma, and on the right, this is the area of the embryonal carcinoma, and roughly, this is where the demarcation is. We can see the architecture is different in the embryonal carcinoma with some gland formations, and also the cells look more pleomorphic in the embryonal carcinoma. This is a higher magnification area, again showing the interface between seminoma on the left and embryonal carcinoma on the right, and we can see clearly that the nuclei appear more irregular, larger, and more pleomorphic on the right, which is the area of the embryonal carcinoma. Hence, in summary, this is an example of a mixed germ cell tumour with embryonal carcinoma and seminoma components. The embryonal carcinoma has a variety of architectural patterns, including solid sheets, glandular areas, and also papillary areas. The cells of embryonal carcinoma are usually very pleomorphic, with large irregular nuclei, prominent nucleoli, frequent mitotic figures, and also frequently areas of necrosis. This is a high-grade neoplasm, but it does tend to respond well to chemotherapy. Thank you.